Okay, let's watch our breaths for a little bit. The mind needs a home. And this is how we provide it with one place to stay right here in the present moment, because it's wandering out in the past and the future. It's not at home at all. It's like a child wandering out of the house, open to all kinds of dangers. You get run over, you can get kidnapped. The sun is hot and the rain is cold. It's best to stay inside. But to stay inside, you've got to give the mind something interesting to do right here. You can watch the mind, you can watch the body. You want to watch the breath, you can watch the different parts of the body that seem to be starved of breath energy right now. What can you do to give them a little bit more? As for the mind, what is it doing? How is it planning its next move? You want to be on top of it. You want to be there before it goes out. So you can keep here inside. You want to be able to watch the processes of the mind as processes. Don't get involved in the content of your thought worlds. Just watch. This is how thought worlds form. This is how they dissolve away. And what kind of true happiness you're going to find in these things that are so jerry-rigged. The more you can see that, the more the mind can settle down with a sense of well-being and contentment right here. It's this lack of contentment being in the present moment. That's the big problem. Which is why you've really got to dig in to see what is what's going on in here that's interesting. If you feel you've been out of touch with your body, okay, here's a good chance to get in touch with your body. If you're not really sure about your mind, here's a chance to watch your mind in action. And many times at the very beginning you'll see things about the mind you don't like, the way it plays tricks on itself, the way it says it's going to do one thing and turns around and does something else. Well, you want to watch that for a while and see why it's happening. What's going on? What, what's behind the scenes in the mind? If you stay right here, you'll see. If you're going wandering around outside, you never get to see what's going on inside the house. And you'll never be able to clear out a space for yourself right here. So take some time to clear out this space. Make it as comfortable as possible, as interesting as possible, so you're happy to stay here. And once you're here, you're secure. I was just saying last night, there's a sense of safety that comes from just staying with your awareness in the present moment. Because eventually even the body is going to have to go. And all your memories of this lifetime and all the perceptions and feelings you have around this lifetime, they're going to go as well. What's left? Well, the qualities of the mind, the strengths you build into the mind. So you settle down here to strengthen the mind as much as possible, and particularly give it the strength of discernment. So you can really see and understand what's going on, so you don't get fooled by all the many layers of commentary in the mind. That's when the mind is really safe. You can see through its own tricks. The tricks that other people play on us are nothing compared to the tricks that the mind plays on itself. So you're going to stay right here so you can understand these things and work yourself free from them. It's a freedom that comes not from wandering around as you like, but staying right here and really understand what's causing this impetus to go wandering. That's where true freedom lies, is understanding these, these processes as they're happening right here. <laughs>